Hey guys, what is up? The boy Gerald here and welcome to another video on Ghost of Tsushima. So in this video, I will guide you to the mythic tale quest of the cursed bow of Oshitsune that will grant you the longbow and the ability to use explosive arrows. So I obtained the mythic tale quest in the gold temple by talking to a stranger which hinted that I should talk to the magician called Yamato who which tells these mythic tales of forgotten legends. So after you obtain the quest for the cursed longbow of Oshitsune, go to the Hiyoshi Springs because as you can see the magician will be there to tell you the mythical tale and guide you where to go next. I also included the mythical tale for the ones who maybe like it, at least I like the way the storytelling has been done so far, so here you go. Long ago, an emperor and his palace were plagued by a winged demon. The Emperor sent for Uchitsune, the most renowned archer of his time, who wielded a bow blessed by Akami. When the demon next came, Uchitsune was ready, long bow in hand. His aim was truer, and his arrows flew farther than any archers in Japan. Uchitsune loosed a single arrow. It pierced the demon's heart. As it fell to the ground, it cursed Uchitsune with its final breath. Soon after, Uchitsune saw the forms of the demon everywhere. His legendary bow never missed, but each arrow that hit its mark was met with a very human scream. The trail of bodies led to his capture. Though many called for Uchitsune's death, the Emperor felt pity for him. Uchitsune was banished to Tsushima Island. He died years later, alone and forgotten by all but a few. The demon slaying longbow has remained hidden here since his passing. Some say it awaits a worthy master. Others believe it still holds the demon's curse. Once the mythic tale cutscene is done, the magician tells you to look out for purple flowers and to follow their trail. These can be found in the location pointed out on the map and when you leave the Hayoshi Springs in one straight line you will stumble upon the flowers and when you do, make sure to follow them to your right because it will guide you through a rock formation with a single big tree on it and that is where you will need to go. I also provided you guys with the exact location on the map for if you are having troubles with finding it. But underneath the tree you can find the entrance into Uchitsune's tomb in which you will find the first hint in the form of a painting of a certain location along the coast to the north of your current location. Upon leaving the tomb you will encounter a person who tries to protect the cursed longbow and warns you not to go look for it where after he leaves again and you can continue your search. So with the first hint in the pocket, the next step is to head north to the marked location and when heading north you will eventually reach the coastline and here you can already catch a glimpse of the island location that is portrayed on the painting, right here. That's the island where you need to go and for convenience I again pointed it out on the map which makes it a bit easier for you guys. From that point on, follow the coastline until you again see purple flowers as they will guide you where you need to go, so follow them. And as you can see, they will guide you right towards the island on the painting. Follow the path down and swim over to the island and enter the cave where you will find the second hint again. This will be a painting that portrays the location where you will need to go for the cursed longbow. Upon leaving the second location, the strange figure again warns you that as you will continue your search for the longbow, Tsushima's fate will be doomed, wherever he leaves again. So with the second hint collected, a new marked location appears as you can see on the map. And this time it will be a mountain top surrounded by purple flowers. I again pointed out the location for convenience sake. So go to the mountain top and again you encounter purple flowers. Follow them and it will lead you right to a very cool looking location at which you will find the cursed longbow of Uchitsune. The longbow is located at the altar and you have to collect it. After you have collected it, you will be cursed and end up in a dreamlike state in which you will have to duel the person or a demon like character that is protecting the bow and already warned you two times when searching for the hints of where to find the bow. So at this point it is pretty straightforward, defeat the enemy and the longbow is yours, unlocking it together with heavy arrows 
and explosive arrows. The longbow is a great weapon for longer ranges since it has a higher accuracy and damage than the halfbow that Jin already has. Furthermore, the longbow will knock enemies back as it is much stronger so hitting a fully charged shot from a distance will be even more satisfying. The explosive arrows are also perfect for stunning and setting clusters of enemies on fire. So it does not only look great, but it is also a very useful tool. So that was it for the guide on how to unlock the longbow in Ghost of Tsushima. I hope this guide was helpful to you. If it was, definitely leave a like. And for everything Ghost of Tsushima, make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one.